Hey guys, what's up? Aru, Nuvalet or Hostelor. No, this isn't a meta video, and yes, I can't think of anything else but Fontaine at the moment. Is Hostelor's drastic change of ideals the reason for Fontaine's unrest, or is Nuvalet taking over the region with his power tripping position as the Chief Justice? So, welcome to another video of a guy who got caught with a speeding ticket. Whoa, slow down, babe. This video is gonna be about Fosalor and Nuvalet, what they may or may not have done to result in the unsettling situation situation of Fontaine, what we know about Fontaine and their situation, finally some conditions and nuances of the law that might tell what really happened within Fontaine. This is only a theory video so take it with some salt and put it in a box with a cat. If you're curious about what is wrong with Fontaine then I highly recommend watching this video for some context to this theory. I basically talked about every problem in Fontaine and how conflicting it is to what people in the game say about it. Timestamps below, let's get started. Within Fontaine is a system of courts or a judicial system likely called the Court of Fontaine. Nivellet is the chief justice of this court. From Nahida's inference and the name itself, he is the head of the branch of government responsible for whether or not a person in a trial is guilty or innocent. Bear in mind I'm not the guy to talk to about politics and political positions, so please do correct me if I'm wrong. Just like a judicial system that can preside over a trial against an executive or president, it's likely that Nivellet as the Chief Justice, can say whether or not the God of Justice herself is fit to be the Archon of Fontaine. If we take what Fosalor says in the Varuna de Gemstone at face value, we can see that even though she and maybe the people of Fontaine aren't guilty in the eyes of the gods, she herself is still susceptible to being put on trial, hinting that a tribunal or a bunch of justices is present within Fontaine apart from the law itself, meaning that the judiciary has control over even Fosalor's as long as it's a trial. Seeming like what they're doing isn't a sin and the only thing that can judge them is the law within Fontaine. Quite a sinister and terrifying situation if you think about it. Back to Fontaine's government, apart from the judicial branch, this also means that Fontaine might also have a legislative branch responsible for creating, changing, and amending Fontaine's laws. To my understanding, they also have the power to accuse an executive or the president of a criminal offense or to call for a trial to remove an executive position. The thing is, Fosalor, after becoming Archon, seems to have changed something more than just her ideals. The Oceanids left because they wished to follow the old Hydro Archon. But Fontaine has another problem that lies with the people of Fontaine, of which we'll talk about later. For now, think about what would happen if a single person controls both legislative and the executive branches of government, which is terrifying considering what she can do if she decides to as the Hydro Archon. So in total, we have three branches of government, as is for many governments in real life. Now, having a chief justice within the judiciary means that the court of Fontaine's decisions need to be settled through a majority vote or a consensus. Simply put, all the justices, including the chief justice, needs to vote for an action, and whichever gets the majority of the votes gets to manage the process following it. Now, here's where Nouvellet can get a bit sly if he so chooses. If he is part of the majority vote, then as the chief, he automatically gets to be the one to assign roles and basically manage the whole process. Meaning all he needs to do is to be part of the majority and then he automatically has control. There's more nuance to that of course, but you get what I mean. Nouvellet as the chief justice also means that he has created and reputated himself very well. As judicial votes go, the chief as well as the other justices depend on their charisma and persuasiveness so they could turn over votes to their side and win the majority vote. Taking into account Genshin's fantasy setting and the masquerade of the guilty and Fontaine, I'm guessing Nouvellet has a really high or even amplified level of persuasion. This doesn't even take into account if he has a vision or not. Regardless, I think Nouvellet as the Chief Justice makes his personality, charisma, and manner of speaking a big highlight once we meet him. Similar to Ayato, Alhaytham, and Kaya's cunning and deceptive way of speaking. But this time it's cranked up to 77. You know what else is cunning? If you press that like button for this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, and clicking on that bell icon as well. Thank you. Now with that said, here's where Fosalor could also be quite a bad apple, theoretically speaking. 
The steam bird, particularly Charlotte, seems to be outside of Fontaine because she incidentally seems to have exposed someone important and is visiting other regions to keep that from escalating. Someone so important that even a journalist of the steam bird has to leave Fontaine for a while. Be it temporary or permanent, it still means that this person who was exposed is so important and influential or at least powerful enough that the steam bird has to give way for them. And the steam bird is the biggest news outlet in all of Tibet. What the steam bird publishes has power. The only two people we have who could be that important if we're exposed are Nouvellet and Fosalor. One of the other important persons is the head of Fontaine's Research Institute, the other being the head of the Legislative House. Even though Fosalor doesn't need to participate in the court of Fontaine, we've been informed by Nahida that she tries to be part of every trial. Fosalor herself does not have the final say, but has a pretty big influence in the final decision. Similar to the Chief Justice, Nouvellet, who also has no hand in the final say, but has enough influence as the Chief Justice himself. If that is actually the reason for Fosalor taking part in the trial, then that means that Fosalor is trying to win over the majority of the votes. And the same goes for for our boy Nouvellet. But Fosalors wouldn't need to be part of every trial if she knows that Nouvellet, or the court of Fontaine as a whole, is doing right by the law, meaning there's a discrepancy between the two, Nouvellet and what he represents in the trial, as well as Fosalor and her side of the trial too. We'll go into what each side might be standing for in a bit, but both of them definitely have an agenda. Fosalor's ideals of law or Nouvellet as the chief of justice. The court of Fontaine determines whether or not someone is guilty or innocent. That much is certain. But for some odd reason, the court also decides which research is good or bad, likely which should be continued or not, as well as using Fontaine's public funds to, well, fund the research. So laws and justice isn't the only thing that the court has power over. They also seem to be governing the finances of Fontaine as well. We've also heard from the recent VibroCrystal event that the Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy and engineering, or frick, <laughs> doesn't care for human safety as well as educational purposes. Continuing to state that there is already a governing body for Fontaine's military or security forces. If Fosalor is representative of the executive branch, then that means that she holds responsibility over that side of power in Fontaine. But that doesn't exclude Fosalor from the legislative branch's laws that Fosalor has to follow. The same goes for Nouvellet who can only follow through with what the legislative branch implements of which we still don't know the person behind the legislative branch, likely the head of the House of Representatives, if it does exist. The Fontaine Research Institute doesn't care for human safety and research is not done for educational purposes. It's likely that almost all research and patented products of research is solely for making money and for the benefit of the researcher as well as those backing the funding behind that research. This goes on top of Fontaine's energy crisis. Anyone who could create the new alternate energy source can monopolize not only the production of the product itself but also the sales price, the usage, the exclusivity or inclusivity as well as the amount of energy is dispensed or used. But, and this is a big but, the person who is in charge of allowing the research to continue or allow its usage once it passes is whoever wins the majority vote on how it will be used. Going back to the court of Fontaine and Nouvellet as the chief of justice, he only needs to be within the majority to control the roles and responsibilities for such a revolutionary project. Unless Fosalor, who is also part of the trials, can win over the majority vote as the god of justice and the hydro archon. You can see where I'm going with this boogaloo of fragmented theories. Finally, the civil unrest as well as the oppressive nature within Fontaine, which points to the people of Fontaine. This is still a vague side of Fontaine's situation considering we only know Fontaine being the hub of culture and beauty. Civil unrest in a place of culture and beauty is a conflicting concept to how everyone describes Fontaine. Possible reasons for civil unrest can be the result of political action, divisive civil issues, or a response to a piece of legislation. All these reasons apply to both Nouvellet and Fosalor. A change in laws or legislative peace could be from Fosalor changing how Fontaine is run with her very radical ideals, which is also a reason why the Oceanids would exile themselves. This might lead to Fosalor not only being an executive but is also representative of the legislative branch. Two branches controlled 
by a single entity, which is counterproductive to how government branches work and how they are. Political action points to the Court of Fontaine and the Chief Justice Nouvellet's actions as roles are passed down from the new laws, as well as the justice system itself also being in question. Meaning Nouvellet could be in cahoots with all the other justices so they could keep having what they want for every trial that comes up. Finally, civil divisive issues are often from differing views, which could mean that there are people in Fontaine that are against Focalore's ideals as well, and not just the Oceanids, which is really huge because that means that there might or might not be a sort of rebellion happening in Fontaine. Fontaine's strict laws, currently known problems, together with the Institute's requirements, the steam bird garnering attention from certain exposed people, the energy crisis in Fontaine, and the waterline crisis with Eastinghouse's weird disappearance and his renewed study, the civil unrest as well as the exile of the Oceanids. This all could be the result of Foxalor becoming the god of justice, which is very likely because she basically changed everything, or maybe Nouvellet's power tripping as the chief justice, making every trial bent to his own agenda. On top of this is Fossilor's differing ideals and having to be in every trial, debating and winning the votes against Nouvellet. Nouvellet could also have a biased political view, but this also opens the possibility that Nouvellet is a follower of what the previous Hydro Archon wanted. Remember, the previous Hydro Archon wanted to connect the world like how water is connected in a river. Or however that statement went. Paired with the civil unrest, which could lead to a rebellion, as well as the oceanids leaving, this means that there is a huge divide in ideals and perspectives within Fontaine. The change in laws or possibly everything in Fontaine itself might be the main reason for all this. And Nouvellet is taking that for granted and using his position, making sure that he stays on top. And we already know that Fossilor has different ideals from the previous Hydro Archon, drastically changing the idea of connecting the world into a sort of political war of laws and justice, of which the higher you are in the class system, the more say that you have. I'm gonna include some inferences to what the Fatui might be doing in Fontaine because of course every region will have the Fatui scheming from behind the scenes. It's likely that the Fatui will have something to do with the unrest and possibly the divide between the people's views. It's really easy to manipulate those who are already in a state of near panic. Unless they were able to manipulate Fossilor or Nouvellet in some way. Knowing Dottore, he probably had something going on in Fontaine long before we could even think. Sandrone and Pantalone are my biggest bets. Though Pantalone was said to be in Liwe in Yelan's character quest, Liwe is also where the border of Fontaine is, Kaoying village. Sandrone, just because she has robots and because Fontaine also has lots of robots, or at least I think they do, and I just really want to see Sandrone come up in the next region. Scaramouche might also have a bit of a redemption arc here as well, after being put into the Vahomana school by Nahida, which is very fitting for our little hat guy friend. Now because Fontaine is said to be close to Celestia, there's also the possibility that the Fatui might not be anywhere near Fontaine. But because they're the Fatui and it's in their names, they're bound to be there in some way or form without being caught. Heck, maybe it's Linny and Lynette. We don't know. And there we go, a theory about Fontaine and Nouvellet, as well as what is going to happen within Fontaine. Did you enjoy the video? Comment below, do you guys think Nouvellet is power tripping or is Fossilor the first Archon to completely be a bad apple? And if you did enjoy it, hit the like button, subscribe, and also click on the bell icon for more videos or Fossilor will sue you. I've been thinking of a bi-weekly upload for Genshin and Star Rail videos and it's almost the end of my school year so expect more videos in the next few few months. That's all from me, so I'll see you guys in the next video, yeah? Like, comment, if you enjoyed, subscribe for more things, and stay Mantheorists. Bye!